Just over 700 yards from Miroslav's site, Camille's team has excavated the entire rock-cut corridor. It doesn't lead to the pyramid. But Camille thinks a strange object discovered inside this tunnel can finally reveal why Imhotep built the giant trench. Camille climbs inside to investigate further. At the end of this corridor, in a small room to the right, we found a huge wooden harpoon uh, placed in a special cylindrical container. It's really impressive. Carved from a solid piece of wood from the juniper tree, the harpoon is a precious object, and a snake motif dates it to the time of Imhotep. It was a ritual device. It could not be used for an actual fight or hunting because it was too large and too heavy. The position of the harpoon, tucked into a chamber set inside the trench, could be a clue to the function of the trench surrounding Imhotep's revolutionary pyramid. It was a three-dimensional model of the road into the afterlife. It was a path intended for the king to ascend to heaven. So the harpoon was a weapon prepared for the king for his afterlife. The king was buried deep below ground, taking him close to the underworld and the path to resurrection. The Egyptians believed the king's spirit was fortified with offerings left inside the tunnels. And with weapons stashed inside the trench walls, he'd defeat his foes until he finally reached the afterlife to complete his transformation into a god. The trench may be Imhotep's idea of the sacred journey that awaited the king after he died. If Camille is right, he has exposed the true scale of Imhotep's ambition for the world's first pyramid. This step pyramid complex was completely experimental because Imhotep tried to integrate religious and uh, ideological concepts and he translated it into stone. 